Hi friends, welcome to everyone, in this video, you can understand, gears. If you like this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ok, let's we go to the topic. Definition of gears, gears are toothed members, which transmit power, or, motion between two shafts be meshing without any slip. Hence, gear drives are also called positive drives. In any pair of gears, the smaller own is called pinion, and the large own is called gear, immaterial of which is driving the other. When pinion is the driver, it results in step-down drive, in which the output speed decreases, and the torque increases. On the other hand, when the gear is the driver, it results in step-up drive, in which the output speed increases, and the torque decreases. Gears may be classified, according to the position of axis of shaft, parallel, spur gear, helical gear, single helical gear, double helical gear, or herringbone gear, rack and pinion, intersecting, bevel gear, non-intersecting, and non-parallel, worm and worm gears, others, internal, and external gear, face gear, Sprockets Spur gear, parallel and coplanar shafts connected by gears, are called spur gears. The arrangement is called spur gearing. Spur gears have straight teeth, and are parallel to the axis of the wheel. Spur gears are the most common type of gears. The advantages of spur gears are, their simplicity in design, economy of manufacture and maintenance and absence of end thrust. They impose only, radial loads on the bearings. Spur gears are known as slow speed gears. If MWAS is not a serious design problem, spur gears can be used at almost any speed. Helical gear, helical gears are used with parallel shafts, similar to spur gears, and are cylindrical gears with winding tooth lines. Helical gears have, their teeth inclined to the axis of the shafts, in the form of a helix, hence the name helical gears. These gears are, usually thought of as high speed gears. Helical gears can take, higher loads than similarly sized spur gears. The motion of helical gears is smoother, and quieter than the motion of spur gears. Single helical gears, single helical gears, impose both radial loads and thrust loads on their bearings, and so require the use of thrust bearings. The angle of the helix on both the gear, must be same in magnitude, but opposite in direction, example a right hand pinion, meshes with the left hand gear. Double helical, or, herringbone gear, herringbone gears resemble two helical gears, that have been placed side by side. They are often referred to as double helical. In the double helical gears arrangement, the thrusts are counterbalanced. In such double helical gears, there is no thrust loading on the bearings. Rack and pinion, a rack is a toothed bar, or rod, that can be thought of as a sector gear, with an infinitely large radius of curvature. Torque can be converted to linear force, by meshing a rack with a pinion, the pinion turns, the rack moves in a straight line. Such a mechanism is used in automobiles, to convert the rotation of the steering wheel, into the left to right motion of the tie rods. Racks also feature in the theory of gear geometry, where, for instance, the tooth shape of an interchangeable set of gears, may be specified for the rack, and the tooth shapes for gears of particular actual rodi, then derived from that. The rack and pinion gear type is, employed in a rack railway. Bevel gears, intersecting, bootka planner shafts connected by gears, are called bevel gears. This arrangement is known as, bevel gearing. Straight bevel gears, can be used on shafts at any angle, but right angle is the most common. Bevel gears have conical blanks. The teeth of straight bevel gears are tapered, in both thickness and tooth height. Miter gears are a special class of bevel gears, where the shafts intersect at 90 degree, and the gear ratio is 1 is to 1. Straight bevel gears, 
straight bevel gears have conical pitch surface and teeth are straight, and tapering towards apex. Spiral bevel gears, spiral bevel gears have curved teeth, at an angle allowing tooth contact, to be gradual and smooth. In these spiral bevel gears, the teeth are oblique. Spiral bevel gears are quieter, and can take up mar loads, as compared to straight bevel gears. Zero bevel gears, zero bevel gears are, very similar to straight bevel gear, only exception, is the teeth are curved. The ends of each tooth are coplanar, with the axis, but middle of each tooth is swept circumferentially around the gear. Zero bevel gears, can be thought of as spiral bevel gears, which also have curved teeth but with a spiral angle of zero, so the ends of the teeth align with the axis. Hypoid bevel gears, hypoid bevel gears are, similar to spiral bevel gear, but the pitch surfaces are hyperbolic, and not conical. Pinion can be offset above or below the gear center, thus allowing larger pinion diameter, and longer life and smoother mesh, with additional ratios. Example, 6 is to 1, 8 is to 1, 10 is to 1. In a limiting case of making the bevel surface, parallel with the axis of rotation, this configuration resembles a worm drive. Hypoid gears are widely used, in automobile rear axles. Worm gear, worm gears are used to transmit power, at 90 degree, and, where high reductions are required. The axis of worm gears shafts, cross in space. The shafts of worm gears, lie in parallel planes, and may be skewed at any angle between zero, and a right angle. In worm gears, one gear has screw threads. Due to this, worm gears are quiet, vibration free, and give a smooth output. Worm gears and worm gear shafts are, almost invariably at right angles. Internal and external gear, an external gear is, one with the teeth formed, on the outer surface of a cylinder, or cone. Conversely, an internal gear is, one with the teeth formed, on the inner surface of a cylinder, or cone. For bevel gears, an internal gear is, one with the pitch angle exceeding 90 degrees. Internal gears do not cause direction reversal. Face gears, face gears transmit power at, right angles in a circular motion. Face gears are, not very common in industrial application. Sprockets, a sprocket, or sprocket wheel is a profiled wheel with teeth, or cogs, that mesh with a chain, track, or other perforated, or indented material. The name sprocket applies, generally to any wheel, upon which radial projections, engage a chain passing over it. It is distinguished from a gear, in that sprockets are never meshed together directly, and differs from a pulley, in that sprockets have teeth and pulleys are smooth. Sprockets are used to run, chains or, belts. They are typically used in conveyor systems. Do you want more videos about mechanical engineering, like, comment, share, and, subscribe.